hello today i am going to show you how to conduct web conference or video conference or conduct online classes by using google meet first you have to go to meet.google.com this website it will direct you to the home page or another way is you can go to your google account then at the top corner you will see nine total portion and click on that here you can see app for google meet just click there it will also direct you to the same home page and next one you can start a meeting or you can schedule a video meeting from google calendar also so to schedule a meeting just click on this plus button it will direct you to the google calendar and you can change the title of your uh, conference i'm changing here bsc viva bsmo and time can be changed and you can attach the schedule if you want so i'm attaching a schedule from here if it, and after attaching you get file here then save it then you can see this schedule here there is an uh, at 9 to 11 there is a scheduled meeting that can be seen here so how to conduct uh, start a meeting so you can click here start a meeting it will direct you now you are going uh, going to join a video conference you can see here joining getting ready for meeting there are two options here that is one microphone other one is camera and before going to join you check in settings and check whether your microphone is working and speaker is working well just click on test and other things higher resolution you can make it okay then done then for time being i am switching off this microphone and also i am switching off turning off my camera then i'm joining in google meet so you get a message like this uh, here you can actually this is the google meet uh, joining information you can copy this information and share with your student and you can add, add people here under name or email i'm just adding my email id as my as a student okay this is the main window i'm doing in my laptop so there are some options here first one turn on caption caption I actually turn caption means whatever you you're talking it will show you at the bottom as a caption and here at the extreme right bottom you can see three dots you can change the layout of your conference there are many options there are if there are many people you can use this and you can put other students or other uh, candidates here like this and this is the third option okay so uh, you can make it full screen and turn on cap caption is here and settings you don't have to change it and next one this one okay uh, so here you can see uh, people you can add people here on clicking here it 
give a pop-up window and you can request to add your students you have to send an email it will send an email to them sending an invitation here you can see one more person that is my student account has reached here and next one you can chat with the people you can send message hi in between the talk you can ask viva questions or any question general questions okay then here at the bottom you have options for turn on captions captions your your language is not audible to someone you can put captions that is uh, whatever you are talking that will be uh, showing at the bottom of the screen next one suppose you want to present something what do you have to do that's the most important thing i have to share this with your students or with other people so here click on that and you can share enter screen or window or chrome tab that is anything that you have saved in chrome you can share with them best for video animation and animation this and i'm uh, sharing my entire screen and click here then share now it is showing you are presenting your screen so other students can see my presentation so uh, i'm showing my slide here so the title of my talk i can tell i can present my slide okay i can present it and finally after your presentation you stop sharing now others can see your presentation I'm going to show you how to use Google Meet from your mobile devices and Android devices. So click on the link that you received by host uh, or meeting if they send your meeting meeting call to you. Just click on meeting call or you can get a message calendar like this message like this i already invited student and now I'm, this this account is for student account this my my student account and join for meeting so it will direct you to this window It take time okay then actually well, the student account from student account students want to present the uh, PPT so what do you have to do click on the top here there is a three point Person and click on present screen then a pop-up window will appear so click on start presenting and now now my student he started to record video So it will show like this. Posting person can actually turn on turn on MIDI, uh, turn on it. 
turn on microphone then you can see the presentation so actually uh, it will show you when you are presenting a topic in your uh, my phone device it will show you like this so i am going to present this green synthesis of silver nanoparticle from neem and turmeric and you can zoom it preliminary study of the bio and bio application these are my our group members and you can give a brief introduction about the topic then you can tell what are the objectives of your present uh, your work and your result and discussion and that is more important and what are the applications application of your work if there are any then finally you can stop your presentation when you are stopping your presentation it will i can stop your presentation so it will be black then after finishing your presentation you can leave from the group just click on here it will direct you you left the meeting if you want you can rejoin meeting on clicking here okay that's all thank you for watching